Yeah. What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Tick, aka Game Fanatic, to Michael Jordan, the game, and also the rebel of the YouTube underground. I am back with a Black Ops 3 commentary. Rhyming, man. I'm out here. I'm a beast, man. I'm going in. But anyway, <laughs> uh, sorry it's been a while since I uploaded the video, man. Um, I pretty much I just copped the SSD, and I don't know how I survived on a PC without an SSD, bro, for so long. The SSD, oh my goodness, it makes things so much faster. Let's do camping. Get duped on. Get the duke little camping stuff but anyway a lot of people camping this game it's, it's amazing how much people camping this game but um yeah man i just got an ssd and that thing is amazing like if i have to restart my computer dog it makes your computer so fast i'd be like oh yo i gotta be back yo i'm gonna restart my computer real quick and i literally would leave and come back within like 25 minutes back in the call like it's that quick son plus it helps with gaming too like my games run a little better they load a lot faster it, it's, it's just perfect i love it now the problem is I, I have to reinstall. I had to reinstall Windows on it, so um, it, you know how operating system can move fast. And on top of that, you know since I had to reinstall Windows on it, I don't have Fraps or Sony Vegas or anything on it. So I have to allegedly get those uh, that software again. You know Fraps and Sony Vegas allegedly, but I couldn't remember which build it was, so I had to finally hop back on this hard drive just to upload a video and to see what build of Sony Vegas I had because I specifically need that build. So. Anyway, man, y'all see the title, man. The title is called Keep That on the Hush or Keep It on the Hush. Whichever one I choose, I don't remember. But, uh, <laughs> but um, pretty much, it's about some things I've been seeing going on in the channel for a while. And I just haven't made a video about it because I would, I would hope that people would have stopped by now. But people don't. They didn't stop. So what I'm talking about is, uh, is people feel entitled that they need to speak for me. Uh, someone may ask me a question in the comment section. I may choose not to answer it for whatever reasons I have. And people would go and answer it for me and that gets annoying if there's and i understand that a lot of you guys are young you guys don't understand you know you, a lot of you guys are like 13 15 16 you know y'all don't understand that you know you keep you gotta learn how to keep stuff on the hush if i don't talk about it you don't need to talk about it so like for instance if you go back to my podcast i just uploaded uh you know the one where i was called a traitor by t fly because he ugly um he uh the, someone asked me what show did i feature on so I chose not to tell him, and I told him whatever I told him or whatever. And a few minutes later, I see people, and I knew they were going to do it. I was like, let me wait and see what happens. I know somebody's going to do it. So a few minutes went by, and, and like two or three people told told the dude what show I was on. Now, what if I wanted to keep that a secret? What if I didn't want to tell him? Like, I didn't really care that you told him because I knew it was going to happen. But I was hoping that you guys would have shut up and not told him. Because obviously, if I didn't tell him... I didn't want him to know, but you guys did. Anyway, I was testing you kind of pretty much. So why would you do that? If I didn't say anything about what show I was on, why do you feel entitled to tell him where I was? Like, why? So that's my problem. And the main one I have is when people that haven't been on YouTube for some months come back and they're like, Tick, what happened to you and Illuminati? What happened to you and Modern War New Girl? Now, the reason I really don't like that because every time someone asks that, I never respond to it because I don't feel the need to respond to it. First of all, okay, that happened about seven or so months ago. That's in the past, man. I don't need to, you know, to be back in the past, man. That Whatever happened, happened. I moved on since then, man. I started my own podcast. Well, I didn't start my own podcast. I got invited to a podcast by T-Fly and Mercury, which is the Game and Underground podcast. You know, we started our own thing, man. I, I got another podcast. I don't need to be reminded of them. And then we had some issues. Apparently, you know, from, uh, from what people told me, his video went like he didn't like me anyway, apparently. So I did him a favor by leaving regardless. So why do people feel the need to, you know, to respond to these comments if I don't respond to it? I don't want to respond to it, one, because if I do respond to it and I say anything negative... All you're going to do is run over to NWN's channel and say, yo, Tick's been talking to you, talking about you. Or you're going to tweet him saying I was talking about him. And then this dude is going to go on a video and take some more shots or whatever he does. Because I found out about him taking a shot at me about um, three podcasts ago on his podcast. Um, and also heard about him taking shots on me uh, during his streams. And, and it's funny because I don't understand why he's still taking shots. Like I haven't taken a shot at him in forever since the whole beef videos went down. But he's still taking shots at me. And it's funny because in his beef video, he claims that Tick is always trying to play the victim. 
Well, look, I haven't taken a shot at him. He's been taking a shot at me. Who's playing a victim? Since I'm always playing a victim, it's, it's just funny that he's doing that. But I'm not even going to talk about that, though, because like I said, I'm trying to be the bigger man about it. I'm trying to put all that in the past. There's no need to talk about it. There's no need to bring that drama back up. That is why I don't respond to those tweets. If they miss those videos, they miss those videos. Oh, well. Uh, they don't need to hear about it. It's, it's over. It's old. We are not talking. I still talk to JG, but I don't talk to NWN or any rest of that crew. So it's no reason to even worry about it. So what I'm asking is, please, if someone asks me something and I don't respond to it, I don't need you to respond with the answer if you know it. I'm asking you that because what's going to happen is if you do it, I'm going to delete your comment. And if you keep it up, I'm going to just delete you from my sub box because I just, it's just, I don't need you to talk about it, man. I'm not trying to be a, a butthole or nothing about it, but just like, don't do that, man. But anyway, this is your boy Tick, a.k.a. Game Fanatic, the Michael Jordan Gamer, and you'll see some more Black Ops 3 videos soon. And I'm going to be gone. Bye! Like and subscribe too, ho!